Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I want to show you how you can take some wood scraps and turn it into something usable like a wooden spoon. All right friends, so a lot of times you'll have some scraps and that's exactly what this started out as. It was just a scrap piece of walnut that I thought, you know what, I'd like to have a spoon to mix some of my instant coffee that I drink in the afternoons. And so, I just started carving and made it. The way you start, you wanna start by drawing out what you want it to look like. Draw out that shape and then you can cut out that shape and then you can start really um, shaping the handle and shaping the bowl of the spoon. All right, so I'm gonna have a, the bowl of the spoon down here. I wanna use as much as I can. Gonna kind of just sketch it out here. You always want to be aware of any things in the wood that are going to make it difficult to work with. Like this piece has a kind of a crack in the middle of it. I might have some issues with that. And this piece has a defect here in the wood. So I will try to veer away from that. But this piece looks pretty good. So we're gonna come in here. Kinda sketch it what we want it to look like. And I like a little bit of a bigger handle on the end. Now it won't stay that way, but this is just what it's going to start out like. All right, there we got our rough shape, folks. Now we're gonna go to the hand tools and start getting that bowl and start shaping this. All right, friends, now that we get to this point, we have it all cut out. Now we're gonna start working with a chisel and we're going to start working with the spoke shave to shave these parts that are square that we want rounded. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda sketch out what we want that bowl to look like, where the, uh, the well, the, the bowl of the spoon. So we're gonna kinda sketch that out. I'm just gonna kinda use my fingers as a guide around here to try to keep the edge somewhat uniform. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna start trying to chisel out and just a little bit at a time because what I do not wanna have happen is it to chip off this edge and then not have it be a true spoon. But we'll see how this works. We'll start chiseling out just a little bit at a time and then go from there. All right, folks, now you wanna be really careful and not chisel this way when you get over here because it'll bust that out. So I come back here and I go back towards the meat of the spoon. You'll notice I'm using the chisel not like this because that, that tends to send it deeper into it. I'm using it like this because I'm just taking a little bit off at a time. I don't wanna go too deep and then crack it and then ruin the whole spoon. So I'm using it like this rather than this. So 
So I'll keep chiseling on this a while. I'll get to where this bowl is deeper and then I'll start using a spoke shave and I have these little carving tools I'm gonna use to start carving it out. I'll also not use the mallet, but then I'll start just using the chisel with my hand and pushing it to try to get that a little bit smoother on some of the cuts and to not put as much force into it so I don't crack it. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take the spoke shape and we're gonna kind of round this handle over and make it more of a rounded shape. So be careful when you put it in the vise, you just want it snug. You don't wanna crush that bowl that you've worked so hard to shape out. So I'm gonna take a spoke shape You see how it's moving on me? I'm gonna to try to get just a little bit more out of it, but you don't wanna just crush it. When you use this spoke shave, I like to turn it at an angle so that wood's only connecting that uh, blade at an angle, not like this. I like to go like this. But you do what works for you. You could also do this with a file or a rasp. I enjoy using the spoke shave on the handle part, and I'll use a rasp or a file on the bowl part. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, do some on the back side. Now if you get tired of doing all that, you can go ahead, flip it around, and then you can start working on the bowl. All right, friends, so when you're shaping this bowl, you can just use a regular chisel, but sometimes it's better to have a rounded type knife or object. You can get in that bowl a little bit better. And so we have these little carving tools that allow you to get a little bit of curve in what you're using or what you're um, allows you to get a little bit of curve in the wood as you're going so you just want to be careful and take a little bit off at a time you don't want to take too much off and then bust out this edge or bust out a side so I kind of come in here on the inside with this little curved thing. You can do the same thing with a file or a rasp. We have this little rasp file combo here at the school that I really enjoy using. So if your hands get tired with that, go back to using the spoke shape or use a file. I'm gonna go ahead and start using a file now because I like the roundness of this handle. I just want to make it a little bit smoother and smoothen it up in right here, the kind of the throat where the bowl meets the handle. Okay friends, so when you use a file, you want to be careful not to drop it. That's what happened to these files. Files are really, really hard, which means that they can be kind of brittle. So if you drop it, it can break. And that's what happened to these files. And so what I usually do when a file breaks, I'll round off the end so there's no sharp ends on it. And then we can still use these files. So remember, this is a rasp. It's got those aggressive teeth on it. This is a file. This is a half round file. Half of it's round, half of it's flat. This is a half round rasp. Then we just got a good old rounded file here. Remember, a file is a, or a rasp is a more aggressive tool, where a file is more of a smoothing it out and kind of making it not so rough. A rasp is meant to remove lumber, where a file is meant to kind of smooth it out. I'm not gonna go ahead and use a rasp on here because I don't want it to break off any of those chunks and ruin 
the spoon. All right, friends, so I filed in a rounded part around here to kind of separate the regular handle from the end of it. I'm gonna shape this up, but also I'm gonna try to shape this down to that, that um, diameter here and make this a little reduced so then this handle, this end, can be kind of a wider area. Just to kind of give it some character, just to make it something a little different. All right, so you don't need to watch me do a bunch of filing, but once I get it to the part where I like the shape, then I'm gonna take sandpaper, I'm gonna take some coarse sandpaper and smooth out all the rough stuff, then I'm gonna take some really fine sandpaper and get it super smooth everywhere. So I have a lot of sanding to do, and I'll come back to you when all that sanding is completed. All right, friends, so we have all the chiseling done, and I sanded it and everything. I made a couple others, and this part right here, I made it wider to kind of give it an end piece, and I don't really like it. I like this better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off and then sand that and then I'll be done. Now, the last part when I make a wooden spoon after all that sanding is I take some vegetable oil, some canola oil, or some olive oil, or some coconut oil, and then I cover the whole thing and I get it totally soaked, and that way it seals in that grain, that where when you use it, the water or juices or whatever don't soak up into, that, into the grain of the wood. So that's the last part, and then your wooden spoon is ready to use. Here we got some vegetable oil. This one's all done, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat it. Try to get a nice, thorough coat, using plenty of oil so the grain absorbs that oil and then it protects your spoon a lot better. Same thing I do with cutting boards. I use the same oil to coat them. One cool thing that using this oil does to it, it all, always makes it really pretty. It makes that grain kind of pop out and you're able to see that grain a lot better. You're able to see the colors of the wood, the natural lumber. So see how, see the difference? See how pretty that is? So there you go, folks. There's your wooden spoon. Hey, remember to work hard, folks, because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.